Greetings, fellow YouTubers. This is Shane the Pain, and you are watching my first ever toy review. So I wondered, what would be my first ever thing to review and put on the internet? So, I thought I'd go kind of big. The Threading 30 Platinum Edition Grimlock versus Bruticus. 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 Cus. I mainly want to review this mainly because of him and the, you know, guys, because of that sweet looking upgrade kit coming out that I hopefully will be getting. But I have a set of rules to follow. Which is if I review a box that I review everything. So I'm gonna go with him first. So let's get to it. By the laws of the universe and for the good of the nature of the world, any time that some sort of continuity with Dinobots in it, he at least Grimlock. Fingers! And screw over everyone else. And I know there's that third party swoop, but it's 80 bucks and I'm against the whole third party thing that is not an add on to something mainstream. I'm like that. And I will have to apologize. The whole comparison thing of difference between him and the, the retail release. <laughs> Even though this guy could be a retail at Toys R Us for cheaper. Than I bought this guy at. I just tell you this that the regular dude, dude, Dino, doesn't have this glossy, chromey bits. It's nice. And for whatever reason, it's a lot better than the Masterpiece version, in my opinion. I mean, the chrome on the Masterpiece is still nice. I mean, It's just, this is so much darker and more gold looking. And it's just way nicer. So he has the one right out of storage. So hooray! <laughs> Things like this happen for your first review. Dinosaur mode itself is really nice if I could get in frame. Now is it accurate to the actual thing it's supposed to be? You know, the feature game for Xbox. Well, kind of. Mainly like the tail isn't accurate at all. It's Big and fat. It looks kind of like legs if you catch my drift. And also, light. Not gap. And yeah, there's a third party thing for it, but nah, I don't have any intentions to get it. Mainly, it's that biggest one I want. And now, to transform it. And you know what? I'm just gonna let it transform. <laughs> well, that was easier. Probably the first thing you'll notice is that the chrome really, really stands out in this one since it's all in front. And once again, just to bring them out. I mean, yeah, I really like the masterpiece, but seriously, that. Rome just looks a lot better on the smaller, cheaper guy. So the crown kind of helps. But he is big for a, you know, Voyager nowadays, I guess. I remember they were huge. Aww. Oh well. That's what happens when the economy sinks. Thanks, Obama. And of course, what is a Grimlock without the sword? And I have heard complaints that it's way too small for him. But. I don't know. I think it's a good size. It's shiny. Orange and plastic. One thing I do know is that the retail version doesn't have all of this painted. These little bit. Like, I think it goes up to, like, here. Or here. 
and like the rest isn't painted in. And that's kind of one draw is because this is just a lot better. If there was one problem, it would be, you know, the shield is small. And I know that add-on kit, I forget the name, it has a lot bigger and a lot more practical. And one thing I do kind of like is here, that. It's kind of a nice homage to the whatever Striker Force Team Go he was on, you know, with the horrible name before there were the Dinobots, which I kind of thought was funny in the game. And that's, and not least, is kind of the gimmick of this guy. A lot of people just say, ooh, it's just a light-up feature, where really, it's not just a light-up feature, it is rage mode. Where in the game, even each character had their own special ability, Optimus, Air Strikes, Jazz, Grappling, Cliff Jumper, Invisibility, Mirage, Angry at Cliff Jumper. Where, you know, it's kind of weird, his special ability is a transform. That's odd. But to transform, you got go God of War on everyone and kill everyone. And when you kill enough people, he goes all rage. Which is that. I kind of like it. So at some point, if you get it angle just right, you get the lights to light up the eyes. And that's that. Now, would I recommend this guy? Yeah. I mean, first off, it's Grimlock. You gotta buy everything that's Grimlock. I mean, even this is Grimlock, and I own it even though that's more cooler than this. Though, if you're just going to walk into a normal store, you're not going to get the whole chromey bits and stuff. If I got this guy at BBTS and, of course, cheaper price at Toys R Us. <sighs> Sad. So, guess what? You watched Shane DePayne's first ever video review. Will there be more? Hopefully. I kind of like this, you know, standing behind a camera, playing with a toy, alone. See you at the next one.